Hello again, this is Alex for Nuvius. Today I will show you how to minimize visible clutter while you're developing your native apps in NativeScript. I'm going to start by creating an app called Clutter Free. And I'm going to use Visual Studio Code, which is a really nice editor for TypeScript and for NativeScript apps. I'm going to open up the project folder. Here's my app. As you can see, we have CSS files, JavaScript files, XML, node modules, all kinds of things here. We don't necessarily want to see this all the time while we're developing code. I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of Visual Studio Code magic to hide some of these files. Uh, now, I'm going to be developing in TypeScript. And in order to do that, I need to install TypeScript first. TNS install TypeScript. Now I have TypeScript installed. As you can see, we have even more files here. What I'm going to do is convert these JavaScript files into TypeScript files because I want to use TypeScript in my development. Check out my other video on how to convert the Hello World template into TypeScript. Okay, I've converted everything to TypeScript. Now I'm going to go ahead and run the application. As you can see, everything works. Okay, now I want to go ahead and clean things up a little bit. Too many files here. Visual Studio Code offers a really nice way for us to customize our environment. If you press F1 and type User Settings, you will be able to edit all kinds of user settings that have to do with the environment. Now these are settings that will affect every single project that you open Visual Studio Code. So be careful here. As you can see, I have zoom level already set. I want to hide some of these JavaScript files because that's just really an artifact of TypeScript. So TypeScript generates the JavaScript files. I don't want to see all this duplication. So I have mainpage.ts, mainpage.js. I just want to work on the TypeScript files without seeing the JavaScript files. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my user settings. And I'm going to exclude certain files. This will follow a glob pattern. So what I want to not see here is, for example, um, all the JavaScript files. Let's hide those. So you enter the pattern, and then you say true for excluding them. When I save this, watch the left side here. All the JavaScript files just vanished. Now, they're still there, of course, because the application needs them to run. But I don't have to see them. What else do I want to hide? I want to hide node modules. Don't really need to see that. Gone. Boom. I also want to hide this hooks thing. What is that? Hmm. Well, it has to do with TypeScript and how NativeScript runs the TypeScript compiler after each build. We don't need to see that. Uh, what else? Oh, platforms. Do I need to see that while I'm developing? Nope. You get the idea. You can see how much cleaner it is on the left side here while I'm navigating through my files. Much cleaner. This is great. Now, user settings, as I've said, is kind of a all or nothing deal where every single project you open up in Visual Studio Code is going to be affected by it. There's another settings file that you can edit that's just for this project, and that's called workspace settings. You can enter the exact same thing in here. And what this will do is just save the settings for this project because it creates a separate settings.json file just for this project, which is clutter free. So if you open another project, you'll see all the JavaScript files and all the node modules and everything that we've hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here. First, I'm going to remove this from user settings. And I'm going to place that into workspace settings. OK. The end result is exactly the same. However, now it's only in this project and not going to affect all my projects. I can also probably hide that VS Code directory as well. OK, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, now your folder structure will be a little cleaner to look at. Be sure to check out my other videos right here.